And that's fascinating because in a way, like you said, that's a, a trigger, which is not a DNA. It's not something from your family, but it's, it's triggers throughout your early life and, and throughout your life that, that enable that, yeah, that, that kind of trigger. And I, I guess in brand speak, you can call it the, the kind of emotional shove. You know, you, you just become emotionally changed and charged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, Simon, I think there's, I don't know, I jotted it down not that long ago, but I was trying to think like how many times in my career have been those somewhat defining moments? And the reality is there's probably like 10 of them in the last 30 mm. years. Mm. And, and, and none of them I saw coming. Yeah. I didn't see any of them coming. I have students at school that will say, you know, they'll, they'll get your resume or look at your LinkedIn profile or something and go, oh, Professor Ledden, can we have coffee? And I never pass up a cup of coffee. If they say want to grab a cup of coffee, I'm all in. Anybody, any, any listener here, if you're ever in Nashville and you want a cup of coffee, I'm your guy. But as we're, as we're talking over coffee, the, the question comes out something like, I looked at your bio, you know, how do I get to where you are now? Type of conversation comes up. You know, what should be my 30 year plan? And, you know, it, it, you got to chuckle at it because one, it's like, I, 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 I thank you for even thinking that you want to be sitting where I'm at right now, right? So thank you for even introducing me to the, you know, the conversation. But I also say, have a conversation with a hundred other people and see what they have to say to you because everybody gives you autobiographical um, recommendations. They tell you what they would told themselves in the past. But more importantly than that is to recognize that my resume it's the highlights uh, of the of the things that like the titles and the and the specific you know numbers of things we got across the finish line. All the learning is in the white space on that resume. <laughs> That's where I learned everything, right? And okay. what I tell them is, I say you got to kind of like, yeah, it's good to plan. I if you plan thinking you're going to get that thirty year plan to roll out the way you think it is, you're going to be sorely disappointed because there's a lot of other variables and influences thing. But the process of planning is valuable. The process of thinking about what do you care about and where do you want to be? And maybe not you know, 30 years from now is fine, but 10 or five or whatever too. <laughs> you know, where do I want to go to? That process of planning is valuable, but the most value is actually that process. It's just thinking about it and thinking about what you value because here's the deal what happens in your life. And you gents know this, you're going to hit lots of intersections in your life where you can go left or right or continue going forward. And in those moments that you make those pivots or choices or changes that are, are, are in the white space of the resume that oftentimes take you places you never thought you'd go. And you've got, if you're not open to those conversations, if you're not open to those situations you're, and you're saying, I'm on this plan, you're going to miss so many great things. I mean, it's kind of like you're, you're on the train going down the track and you're missing all the cool stuff whizzing by out the window. 